Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome again to our 15 minute podcast. Remember, I beg your indulgence to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. What do you have to lose? Nothing. What do you have to gain? Everything. Like what? You see, after your busy schedule, the YouTube will have dropped you a notification. Then, you can follow us in this series. You see, you need this channel because I will always teach God's word to you every time. Every week, I will always teach you God's work. God's word. Now, somebody said the Bible did not teach you how to make money. The Bible does. And that's what I've been teaching for the past nine episodes. Today is the ninth and the last episode. So, I've been teaching you about steps to making riches last forever. I won't go through it again because I'm finishing today. So, please go over the eighth episode in the YouTube and then you can join us today. So, I've talked about the S, which is seek money. Sorry, seek knowledge, wisdom. More than you seek money. Number two, teach people around you the value for money. Anybody who does not want to know the value for money, don't keep them around you. They will, you are just as strong as their ignorance. That is what your intelligence is just as good as they are as they are ignorant because they will bring you down. So the next one is enterprise. Listen to me, money doesn't make you rich. Investment and time does. Investment and time does. And that's why the next one there is persistence. So start early enough. Don't invest more than you can lose at a time. Don't invest more than you can do, lose at a time. Money doesn't make you rich. Time and investment does. Do. And then don't invest more than you can do at a time. Don't invest more than you can lose at the beginning. Sorry. Don't invest more than you can lose at the beginning. Now, so that brings us to the last one, which is security. Now, like I said, your money cannot secure itself. It depends on you to secure it. Security is most important if money must last forever. It's evident that there's no place on earth that is secured. According to Jesus in Matthew 6, 19 to 21, he said, Lay not off for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay off for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. And where things do not break through, nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Now, listen to this. This does not mean that we cannot invest on the planet Earth. What it simply means is that nowhere is safe on the planet Earth. So what do you do? What do you do is very simple. Spread your investment out to different states, countries, and continent if possible just don't put your eggs in one basket <laughs> that's the meaning just don't put your eggs in one basket invest only in what you have taken time to study and know listen to me security is everything listen to me if you flow with what i've said three weeks ago and you miss out on this one you have lost all because listen to me, there's no need to start investment if you're not ready to protect the money. He said, money cannot secure itself. Your money, your money, your money cannot secure itself. Your money is as secured as you are ready to secure it. Your money is a dummy. It can't secure itself. So number one, Jesus said, don't lay up your treasure on earth. That does not mean you cannot invest. What Jesus is saying is simple. Spread out your investment. Don't just invest in your village alone. Invest, go into the states, go into the countries, if possible, go into the continent. You know, recently we heard there was a flood in a, what's it called now? In a, in one of these Arab, African Arab countries, Libya. Many people lost investment. If that's the only investment they have in their life, they are gone. Now the same thing also in Morocco, they have earthquake. If that is the only area they have investment, they are gone. But do you know what? The richest man in Africa has investment in many countries. Even in my country, it's from my country, he has investment in many states. Not just his own state in Kano. He has investment in Benue State. He has investment in Kogi State. He has investment in Lagos. He has investment in Oshun State. He has investment outside this country. He has investment after this continent. That is how to make riches last forever. Because no place on the surface of the earth is secured. Okay. Invest only in what you have taken time to study and know. Don't invest your money because you are told that others have made themselves rich by making a particular investment. No, you will lose money. 
if you invest into what you don't know anything about don't depend only on the intelligence of your broker alone invest into what you know very well do you understand that? that's why i will not i will not if you are if you are if you are if you if you study electrical if you study electrical engineering in the university i listen to me now i will tell you that if you are going to invest your money open electrical shops don't read electrical engineering university and then you go and start fishery because they told you they say ah you know catfish is very good they produce money i know many people who did catfish and they lost millions they lost millions because they told them there's money in catfish no 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 listen to me if you're going to invest into catfish then take evening classes about that that's what they say they say be diligent to know so security is everything invest only on what you have taken time to study and know don't invest your money in just anything now start small every business has its own challenge grow with the challenges of your business the bible itself recommend that we start small in job 8 7 and though you start and though you started with little you will end with much new living translation and though you started with little you will end with much you see that is why in fact the bible is angry with people who despite the days of small things in Zechariah 14 say for who are despite the day of small things for they shall rejoice and shall see deployment in the heart of them avoid the get rich quick scheme start small money doesn't make you rich no time does time does so so you know you know you know you know why some people cannot continue in business or in investment is that they have one million and then they will go and start cash fish business with one million and then they lost the whole catfish so they lost one million so they give up on investment do you know what their problem is this they thought that it is money that makes them rich no money doesn't make you rich so that's why they invested so much no do you know what if you have 100 million if you have 1 million start cash fish of 50,000 naira. grow it from that 50,000 naira to 100,000 then the next time invest 100,000 grow it to 200,000 listen to me money does not make you rich time and investment do never invest much at the beginning always start small okay avoid get rich quick scheme start small money doesn't make you rich no time does never pay bill fully until all the times are completed is one of the ways to secure your money if you can sell out shares to people to invest into your business do so to spread out the risk don't put all your eggs into one basket you don't have to you don't have to own a company outright bring and bring in investors to share risk and invest to different and invest into different things now what i'm saying is this what we're saying is this now if you have one million i listen to me now is that how you start small fifty thousand and uh, if you have another friend who also can afford to lose 50 million sorry fifty thousand ask him to invest so that the two of you will invest hundred thousand and then you share the profit do you know what share the risk share the risk if you can get investors don't always put all your money into your into business get people to invest sell shares no matter how small your company is okay if possible invest into different countries and businesses never put your eggs into one basket spread the investment to maximize the risk always read an instruction fully before committing your money and ask questions if you are not too clear about an investment always read an instruction fully if you want to go into an investment and they give you papers read all fully study it as if you are going for exam the next day always read an instruction fully before committing your money and ask questions if you are not too clear about an investment don't commit your money if you are pursue, if you are pressurized to do so so that you will not lose an opportunity listen to me it's better to lose that opportunity than to lose your money than to lose your any and it's cheaper to involve a lawyer and pay legal fee where necessary than to commit your money and you lose it this is what i'm saying now so if you want to invest like i said sell shares but if you are buying shares now uh, my cameraman want to do fish business he's asking me as his, as his pastor to invest into it i want to hear how am i going to get my profit are you listening to me now listen to me if he give you 10 sheets of paper to read read all 
If you say, no, 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 you cannot afford to read all the paper finish before you start investing, that you will lose the opportunity. Tell him that you would rather lose the opportunity than to lose your any. So it's an exact patient. Read it through. If there's anything you don't understand, ask him to explain it. If you still don't understand it, pay a lawyer to help you to understand what is drafted. Read in between the lines. Mm -hmm. If an investment is too good to be true, <laughs> I've listened to people say, ah, severally, on my phone, they will tell me that now that there's an investment, someone will tell me and show me their bank draft that uh, they invested 50,000 uh, within, within 50 seconds, they made another 50,000. Within another 50 seconds, they made another 100,000. Within another 50 seconds, they made this much. And they said that, and they said that they have the proof. They are showing their bank draft. And they are asking me to put my money into it. Listen to this. If an investment is too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. Avoid it. Avoid it. There are things you don't know about that investment. There are hidden truths that will take away your money. Watch it for some time. Or invest what you can afford to lose if it turns out to be a bad investment on the long run. Don't be in a hurry to be rich. The possibility is that you won't be rich. Success comes instrumentally. Never forget this in a hurry. So don't be in a hurry to be rich. The possibility is that you won't be rich if you are too much in a hurry. Learn to pray through on everything and only commit your money when you have the peace of the Holy Spirit. Did you get that? Only commit your money when you have the peace of the Holy Spirit. If you don't have the peace of the Holy Spirit, don't put your money into an investment. Don't put your money into an investment. So your money cannot secure itself. Your money depends on your intelligence for security. So you see, your money is going to go and work for you. But how secure your money is outside the way it's working depends on the intelligence you have acquired concerning security. So when you're going to go into a business, study it very well. Don't go into strange fields. Are you listening to me now? If you're going to buy shares in the company, read through. If you don't understand what they're saying, ask questions. If they cannot ask their question, pay a lawyer to help you understand what they're saying. Listen to me. If they tell you, you are wasting time and you will lose an opportunity, tell them that you will rather lose that opportunity than to lose your any. Are you going to say now? It's better that way. If an investment is too good to be true, don't go into it. Even if you must go into it, Put in something that you know that if the investment at the end of the day is a bad one, you are okay. You are okay. You just know that you are just you have just sown a seed to them. Are you listening to me now? Don't ever invest bigger than you can afford to lose at the beginning. So always pray through. If you don't have your peace of mind concerning an investment, don't go into it. No matter how juicy it is, listen to this. Your money cannot secure itself. Your money depends on you to secure it. Okay, including buying land, make all your investigation. Make all your investigation. If they cannot wait for you, tell them to get to sell it to another buyer. Don't lose your any. Thank you so much for standing behind your camera for this past three weeks. I know it works. It's, it's, it's a series that worth the wire. Because it does not just only affect you, it affects your generation unborn. Please go over it again and then educate your children about it. And uh, as for me here, I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is Lord. I will see you in our Monday podcast. We will be starting on a new series of teaching. Jesus is Lord.